how to create a free e-commerce website using Square. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a pretty amazing looking website, an e-commerce website using Square Online. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now I'm over here on squareup.com, not to confuse it with Squarespace because these two are very similar looking websites, but they're totally different. Now in the past, you couldn't create a website using SquareUp, but recently they've acquired Weebly. Weebly is an online website building tool that allows you to create an amazing looking website online in a matter of few minutes. Now they have acquired Weebly and now you can create a website for SquareUp using Weebly. So if you're going to, you know, use a website, I might as well, I might suggest that you create an account on SquareUp and go to the Weebly website, weebly.com and over here, create a website and then connect it to your SquareUp online. Because over here, if you, you know, sometimes it's pretty weird. I don't know if it's a glitch or anything, but if you come over here and you click on online stores, right? It's going to take you over here where you just simply click on get started and log in. It'll just take you back to the dashboard where you just can't, you know, create a website. It's so weird. So let me show you real quick. So if I click on get started for free and I sign in and after I've signed in, it's just going to take me back over here where I just have to do this and fill out this form. And I keep doing this. I keep filling out this form, but it doesn't take me to the actual website builder. I don't know if it's a, you know, a glitch in the website, but I don't really understand it. So the best way for you to create a website for Square Up Online is to go to Weebly.com over here, as you can see e-commerce by square so they've acquired it they've bought it now you can go ahead and use weebly to create an account so let's go ahead and sign up onto weebly so simply click on sign up button over here and just fill out this form and you are good to go so i've already created an account so i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and once you've done that you are good to go you know sign into the dashboard and here is this is how it looks like this is the weebly's dashboard all right so over here on the left side you have a bunch of different options such as website items orders fulfillment reports and all of that and then over here in the middle you have your dashboard and you have some you know uh, to-do list if you will that you have to complete in order to complete your website so over here you design your website you add an item you set up your domain you connect a payment gateway set up shipment rates and collect taxes and you are good to go right pretty simple so let's go ahead and design our website so over here if you click on design now we already created it but i'm going to do it again now i do have to mention that the editor for weebly is not that you know intuitive it's pretty simple like it's a pretty simple drag and drop type of tool you just simply click over here and you add a bunch of different images and you're good to go so this is a website that i created um, a couple of months ago and it's pretty simple it's really nice nothing too fancy over here right so over here on the left side you have your main tools right you have your main header your main banner email you know newsletter image gallery footer and footer banner as well so pretty much that's it right so nothing too crazy and this is going to be your home pages over here you will have all of your pages at the top you can go ahead and add new pages over here you can add new section to your website by clicking on add section over here and you can edit it all out so if you wanted to edit your header you just simply click over here and you click on logo and you basically add the logo over here right so it can be image or a text it all depends on you so if you wanted to change it to an image just simply click on add logo and over here you can just go ahead and upload your logo over here so let me just upload this one over here and once i've done that this is how it's going to look like right pretty simple well, then you just simply select the logo and click on done there you go you know you can have navigation buttons you can have other buttons as well like a join now button and icons as well you can header you can customize the layout and color and the background of it as well so if i wanted to custom out the layout click over here and over here the, we have a bunch of different layouts right so this one is right now so if i wanted to choose it to this one then i would have my logo in the middle would have my buttons over here on the left side and i would have my icons over here but if i wanted to do this then i would have a logo all the way over here on the left side and buttons and navigation buttons over there and if i wanted to click this then i would have the logo in the middle and then buttons in the middle over here the navigation buttons and the icons over here so choose whichever one you want i really like this one with the logo in the middle and the buttons on the left side and i'm going to stick with that and then you can add like a sticky header as well so what that would mean is that your header is going to stick to your website like this so as you can see right here reveal on scroll up so if you wanted to you know reveal your header so if i wanted to scroll down my header would disappear but if i scroll back up the header would pop up again and you want if you want no effect then you can add no effect then it'll just stick to the top 
but i think sticky headers are really nice you know sometimes it you know helps you a lot so next you can go ahead and add like you know different backgrounds as well so over here you can change your color you can add like a transparent background which will have the image you know a little bit shown in the background as well you can add like a custom image or custom select your own color so if you wanted to select your own color you can do that over there as well or you can add your own image as well it all depends on you i think transparent will look good and we are good to go and once you've edited out your banner just simply click on done and you are good to go then you can go ahead and edit your main banner as well so if you wanted you just simply click on the main banner you will have all the image all the options related to it you have images labels headlines text buttons uh, buttons secondary buttons you can have even customize the layout of it as well you can make the section height over here small medium extra small you can add different colors as well right it's pretty simple so if i wanted to change the image just simply click over here click on image and i just simply click on the edit button over here over here i can go ahead and you know edit the image out a little bit you know i can zoom in on the image as well i can straighten the image out and all of that you know it all depends on you but if you wanted to remove the image and replace it just simply click on the three buttons and click on replace image then you can upload your own image over here or you can click on the free photo icon over here and choose an image from these images that they've you know given you over here these are like stock footages stock images that you can choose from right so it all depends on you since it's going to be a banner image you know i want something with you know more horizontal than a vertical image so let's go ahead and see if we can find something like that um so far all the images are like you know vertical and those that are horizontal um i don't feel like it i don't think they're good enough nothing too crazy over here so we could add this one as well but no it's just a bunch of clothes on our back i don't feel like you know something too crazy oh maybe this one could help maybe if i wanted to click over here christina patrick if i selected that and if I selected this Katrina Patrick person over here, I will get all of the images by this person over here, as you can see. Pretty cool images, yeah. So for now, I think we're just going to select this image right here and we're going to click on done. Now our image is going to change with this person. And as you can see, since we had added a transparent, you know, header, uh, the image, you know, shows up as well, So which I think is pretty cool. Then you can go ahead and change the color and layout of it so over here you have a bunch of different options you have the white background with the white text and you know the accented buttons if you wanted to choose another one you can go with that one as well like this one right here it's all white and this one is all blue so i think white looks cool i think we'll go with that then you have your layout over here as well so you know in the middle over here on the right side over here on the left side like this with the image over here and you know your layout over there or with this one or with this one as well with the it all depends on you for me personally i like this one uh, because you know it, it looks nice and this one as well because it's you know shows the entire image and it's over here next you can go ahead and once you've edited it out just simply click on done next you can go ahead and edit your newsletter as well so if you wanted to add like a newsletter you can go there now if you're wondering if you wanted to add like another section just simply click on add section over here and you will have a bunch of different options over here that you can add so you have featured items featured uh, category events memberships featured menu items instagram feed or buttons video as well or embedded code or a pdf gallery or whatever so over here you can add whatever you want you even have some forms as well such as a contact form a custom quote alignment request if you wanted a custom code you can add that over here or you can add that with this layout as well you know it all depends on you you can add like a catering request contact us page appointment request event request and wholesale inquiry as well you can add that as well so i think it looks cool and once you've added that you can go ahead and click on done then you will have your page added over here and then you can go ahead and edit that page as well so and you can even move the pages up and down as you feel like it so once you have edited the website wait it's loading let me just i don't know why it's loading i think my internet connection is weak again so let me just pause this video right here okay sorry about that well once you've edited your website you've added all of the things that are necessary for you then you just simply click on publish and you are good to go after that once you've published your website you just you know add a domain such as you know use a domain that you already own somewhere else you verify that domain 
once you verify that you are good to go but if you don't have one you can find your own custom domain over here and once you've added your custom domain you are pretty much set then anyone can visit you by entering in that domain name and you are good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you do it that's how you create an e-commerce website on weebly using weebly that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye